Okay guys, here's another quick Logic Pro X tip for you. Hiding tracks, and this can be a really useful one for reducing clutter in your working arrange area. Right? Now here's a project, and here are my drum tracks. All of these five tracks are my drums. Let's just solo them. Okay, so they're all my drums, just on solo. Now, I can hide these tracks to remove them from the range area and make less clutter. But bear in mind, any track that is hidden, if it's not muted, it will still play. It just removes it visually. Okay. Now, to hide one or more tracks, you select an individual track or you select a group of tracks and then you bring up the track shortcut menu. You do that by right clicking on the background of an individual selected track or you select a group of tracks and right click on the background of any in the selected group. Now if like me your right click is assigned to your toolbox then you control left click but you bring up the shortcut menu for one or more selected tracks by clicking on the background right? and you choose hide track just tick that or you select one or more tracks and you do track menu hide track or you do the key command, which is Control and H for hide. So you select one or more tracks and hide. Bam. And they're hidden. And an H button appears up here, which is orange, letting you know that there are hidden tracks. But the tracks that I hid, all those drum tracks, were not muted, so they're still going to play. When life goes a tired eye. Right? If I tick this, uh, this is orange, the hide master button, which appears. It's orange telling me there are hidden tracks. If I click it, it becomes green and it reveals all the hidden tracks. There they are. And each of the hidden tracks has an H button ticked green, meaning that when I hide, those tracks will be hidden. Now, once you've hidden one or more tracks and then unhide, Every other track has an H button, allowing you to hide further tracks. So I could now take the drum tracks out of hide, right, de-tick them, and now I'm going to hide every muted track. These are tracks that we previously recorded, and then we recorded new versions of those tracks, but we didn't delete the muted ones. We wanted to keep them um, in case in the future we wanted to use them. So now. I've ticked the H button to be green on every muted track. And now I just hide all those green ticked H tracks with the master hide button. Bam! And they're all hidden. Much less clutter. I can have a greater vertical zoom with less tracks. To scroll. I'm not having to scroll up and down, uh, but I've still got a good vertical zoom. Right. Hi. I'll soon be with you. So it's really good for that kind of thing. You know, you know, you want to make less clutter. You might have a load of drum tracks. You might have 13, 14, 15 or whatever drum tracks. You're working on doing uh, guitars and vocals and doing a lot of comping. And for comping, you need good vertical depth on your tracks. Uh, so you think to yourself, well, look, I'll just get all the drum tracks and I'll just hide them all. Bam. And now they're not there. I've got much less track clutter. I can have a really deep vertical zoom get on with the comping of my vocal or my guitar or whatever, uh, and there's much less clutter, but the hidden tracks will keep playing. You, my love. And any time, when you finish doing your recording, you can just unhide them by unticking the green H and then hiding anything else you do want to hide, and now the drum tracks are all back. Right, just to show you that on another project, here's a bigger project we did. All right, just wait for it to load. Here's a, big, a bigger project we did. And if I unhide, look, there's the orange hide master button, show, meaning there are hidden tracks. Unhide, and look, there's a whole bunch of muted tracks that we originally recorded and then decided to redo. And for every muted track, I've ticked the H button. And then they're all hidden, so they're not cluttering up the mix. Or not cluttering up the visual arrange area. Can it So that's hiding and unhiding tracks.
it's a very useful technique for making less clutter in your range area and any time you decide I don't want to hide a track just unhide the whole lot and detick the green H button on any that you don't want to hide anymore and just hide again okay hiding tracks there you go that's quite a useful one